Hey guys, all right, in this video we're going to start talking about the formal definition of a limit. Um, and what we're going to do is uh, first mention the definition and then just kind of break it apart and see what it really means. Um, all right, so the limit as x approaches c of f of x equals l, uh, when we say that, what we really mean is this. For every epsilon greater than zero, there is a delta greater than zero such that if the absolute value of x minus c is less than delta, then uh, the absolute value of f of x minus l is less than epsilon. All right, so before we move on, let's just recall real quick. Um, when we say absolute value of x minus c, that just means the distance between x and c. So uh, here, if the distance between x and c is less than delta, then the distance between f of x minus l is less than epsilon. And uh, what are delta and epsilon here? Well, um, they're both positive, right? So they represent any positive numbers. But the idea, uh, when we talk about epsilon delta definitions like this, the idea is that epsilon and delta represent really teeny tiny positive numbers. Um, so in other words, uh, x and c are really close together, and f of x and l are also really close together, because epsilon and delta are teeny tiny positive numbers. So uh, what does this definition kind of mean? Let's think about this a slightly different way. <clears throat> uh, when we say limit as x approaches c of f of x equals l, that kind of means that uh, we can make f of x as close to l as we want as long as x is close enough to c. So in other words, um, let's say, okay, here's an epsilon. Okay, we're just going to take some epsilon, some teeny tiny positive number, whatever it is. All right, we don't know what it is, we just don't really care for now. Um, and we want to make the distance between f of x and l less than epsilon. And uh, we can do that as long as we make the distance between x and c less than delta. All right? So if all that works out, then we say that this limit uh, as x approaches c of f of x equals l. So when we say this limit exists, what we mean is that we can do this here. Okay? So if you come up to me and say, here's an epsilon, I want you to make the distance between f of x and l less than this epsilon, then I'm going to come back to you and say, okay, uh, I guarantee you that will happen as long as you make x uh, less than delta units away from c. So in other words, as long as you make the distance between x and c less than delta. So uh, to repeat that, if you come up to me and say, all right, here's an epsilon, now I want you to make the distance between f of x and l less than epsilon, then I'm going to come back to you and say, I guarantee that will happen as long as you make the distance between x and c less than delta. All right. So if that works out, then this limit exists here.